Well, welcome back to the cabin once again. Um, it's early October here in Ohio, and what we like to say is if you don't like the weather, just wait, it'll change. 70 degrees today, high of 54 tomorrow. From here, it all slides downhill. So, um, of course, I burn a ton of wood here, trying to keep the house warm and cooking through the winter time. On the average, about 10 cords. So, somewhere between the two-man handsaw and the modern professional grade steel saw of today was this beast behind me. So let me get this stuff out of the way. Okay, I'm sure that everybody has seen a buzz saw before. Um, this particular one is made for the Farmall Cub. It actually works directly from the PTO. The saw blade is mounted right to the back of the tractor and um, Today we're gonna to put it to the test. I've made it clear that I burn a lot of pine here. Not for cooking, except for in the pizza oven to get it hot, but to get that quick kindling fire fire or to just burn in the fireplace to get a real quick flame up. That there's, there's nothing to be dry pine, just burns up so rapidly and quick. The one place I do not burn pine the rooster likes to make it known that he's that he's the uh, boss around here. The uh, one place that I don't burn big chunks of pine, I do still burn for kindling down there, is in the airtight wood-fired furnace. If you burn too much, I mean, it, it'll puff back in the house. There's all kinds of reasons why not to burn the big stuff down there. But for today, what we're doing is is using the buzz saw, and we're gonna we're gonna buzz down some kindling wood and make some stuff for the cook stove. So if the rooster will let me, we're gonna get busy and get working on this. This is ran directly from the PTO, so just clutch in, PTO in gear, and off we go. I've been cutting like that and it seems to do just fine, but a little bit of throttle, it's not gonna hurt anything.
porch here, I have this whole side is dried locust. All split real sm small for my cook stove. And then on the other side of you is everything for the pot belly. Bigger logs, but not real long. They'll fit in the pot belly real nice. This side of it here, I'm gonna stack up with kindlin wood, probably this tall, and then I'll fill between it equally. So as I go, kindlin wood, more locust. So keep busy. I think you get the gist of it. Um, there's really nothing easy about 
this thing we call the log cabin lifestyle. I mean, yeah, you might get a day to sit around and do nothing on the front porch and drink coffee, but uh, if you want to be ready for the winter, it really does take a lot of work. So earlier today, um, first thing this morning, my brother and I went and picked up a gigantic locust log. Um, I had a friend who a bunch of locust trees blew over and they told me I could have whatever I want. That's what most of this stuff is laying around here. Um, so I've been going there cutting on it. So anyway, I'm gonna keep busy and I will check in with you guys another day. Take care.